we'll run through some sounds on this because we've got JC Clean, Clean, Cheap Screamer, etc. We won't mess about. So um, JC Clean. <laughs> pickups by the way that's just uh, the bridge pickup and this is the neck so it sounds really good it sounds really nice it sounds very good indeed um, clean sound Legit sounding. So this is a blues sound they've called this. I think that might be a good opportunity to actually show you what the, how much of a difference the tone makes. It gets pretty loud and um, pretty biting and crunchy pretty quick. Crunch, we'll leave that about there. Again, that sounds pretty impressive. So that's the lead sound, rhythm. Rhythm sounds pretty decent. Metal, let's get some metal on. Uh, gain's already quite high anyway, so let's... <laughs> Decent enough metal sounds. Well, see, you can hear I've got the reverb up. Let's just turn up. So, yeah, pretty fat sounding. Um, if I take it all the way back, and you can hear the difference the gain makes as well. If I change that to, say, tube screamer. So it does make a significant difference. You wouldn't be able to tell so much, obviously you're not in the room with me, but the volume, it, it goes loud. This thing does go pretty loud. It's easily more than enough for practicing at home. Um, so let's have a little bit of a play with the effects. So we've got... Bit of delay. going on there. Revert. I'll go all the way up with that. It's a very nice reverb. It, sound, it sounds really, really nice. You've got chorus, flanger and phaser and tremolo. They're all very convincing as well. Let's do these individually. sound on that. See what the flange are. <laughs> Get the phaser going. I'm going to 
That sounds really cool. So let's have a look at some tremolo as well, because that sounds really good, I think. They're all really convincing sounds. Now, the other cool thing with this is you can do a bit of drums. Let's turn it down a bit. It's pretty loud. So you have the option. You've got your rhythm, which is what actual rhythm you're going to choose from. You've got a tempo and you've got your volume. And that's all controlled with the, these plus and minus buttons here. So you can change your rhythms with this, you can change the tempo with this, and the volume with these buttons. The disadvantage, I suppose, you don't have a little screen to see exactly what tempo you're doing, but you can get pretty close to whatever you want. Um, and I'll just show you a few. So you've got a really good selection here. <laughs> Something a bit. So if we try and slow it down, for example, so if I press turn and I can slow it down by pressing minus. So there you go. So it's probably best to hold it down and then that will change it more efficiently. You can go really slow, hopefully. Let's see. So it's kind of, yeah, that's probably as, sounds like it's as slow as it goes. Let's speed it up. Okay, getting faster and faster. Yeah, it can go pretty crazy fast. All right, you got the idea. Oh, crazy, crazy. And if we slow it down, we can slow it down again, hopefully. So you just hold it down. And eventually it will obey your commands and slow down. There you go. And volume can go a little bit down. There you go. So it might be take a little bit of a time to respond. Hey, but this is true, this is honest, this is the way it is. So we've got and if I turn up the volume a little bit. functions in there um, you can do a lot with it and you could say for example mix and match some of these so you could have a bit of delay with a phaser it's a really kind of spacey effect So there you go. So it's got a lot going on. It's very, very cool indeed. Um, swishy swish. And um, yeah, there you go, really. Very, very cool little amp. Um, well worth investigating. And um, yeah, like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I'll see you in the next one.